Hello and welcome to Left Alone. This is quite a different genre to what I normally play. I usually play simulators, but this is far from that. This is a psychological horror, and I've been wanting to do a Let's Play on this game ever since it was released a few weeks ago. So, yes, I can already feel the suspense. It's incredibly overwhelming. Let's press start. Let's begin a new game. So here is a bit of a background. I don't know if I should read it all, but I'm going to go for it anyway. You play as Joel Dent, former United States Marine Corps Special Forces, father of two and recent divorcee. He served for 12 years as one of the highest ranking officers and working his way to captain before being discharged after suffering massive head trauma on duty. Joel was highly regarded as one of the best company grade officers and received the highest commendation, Medal of Honor for his undeniable bravery while on operation. He spent 18 months in a medically induced coma. Doctors said the odds are extremely low that he will ever wake again. Despite this, his two former squad mates, Mike and Philly, visited him every day and watched him make a full physical recovery over the next year. Joel still suffers occasionally from disorientation and blackouts, which he has a regular checkup for. Joel was left home to build a new life for himself in a new city, in a job he doesn't like, and without the comfort of his children and wife who left him for a new man in New York when he was still in a coma. Joel hasn't seen his best friends for the last six months as they're on deployment. They arranged to meet up for a weekend away on a back-to-basics fishing trip to reminisce about the old days. They arranged a meet-off a hiking trail in a forest of Wisconsin, which is a good travelling distance from all three of them. Hmm. So... Here are the controls, and it should be relatively simple. We've got the general movements, the red ones, W, A, S, and D. Uh, shift um, and space is to sprint and to jump. Um, that's the advanced movements. The interaction is E, which is just, you know, everyday use key, even from Half-Life days. Uh, flashlight, F, B, and Q. B is to check the batteries, and Q is to replace the batteries. So, oh, and right click is to zoom. Good. When families lay broken, a bond between friends gets stronger. In the face of adversity, use the light to guide you. Isolated from your comforts, every man has his breaking point. Believe only half of what you see and none of what you hear. How scary would it be if the voice inside your head stopped working? So here we are. We begin our journey here. Love the music. Really atmospheric. So, we make our way down the path. Press E to view the text message. Hey Joel, can't wait to see you tomorrow. It's been so long. Hey man, yes, we'll be so nice to get away from here. Need a break with the guys. We've gone fishing. We'll be back soon. Follow the trail to the camp. Maybe collect some sticks and rocks to build our campfire. Ten of each should do. See you soon. Right. So we've got to build a campfire. We need ten rocks and ten sticks. To be precise. So I'm guessing that down here, we've got a camp. This is probably a good point to say that I've never played this game before. Yeah, the music's really good. So if you press shift, we should sprint. We do. Ooh, rabbits. And the birds. So here's our little camp. Lighter fluid and matches. They'll come in handy. We've got a flask, which we can't do anything with. We've got a stick. Oh, I should probably start counting. One, two, three sticks. Oh, and a rock. I'm going to lose count here. Oh, many rocks. Maybe if we just keep picking them up. Okay, so that is roughly seven, is it? Already lost count. Oh, no, that's ten. Ten bits of wood. We now need to finish the rocks. Here's some more. They're too big. That one... Right, we need a few more rocks. Should be a few. 
Maybe over here? But plenty of sticks. I suppose there are a lot of trees. There's a rock. Alright, go around here. Yeah, we're, we're, we're lacking rocks. There is a, a lack of rocks. There we go. We've got ten. So I'm guessing we'll now be able to make the campfire. Oh, very nice. Anyone got any marshmallows? No? What am I doing? I'm talking to myself. Right, okay, so we've lit the fire. We've got another text message. Make sure to set up your tent and have a drink of water if you're feeling thirsty after the long walk. Won't be long. Oh, good. So we can sit back and relax. Is this the water? I'm guessing not. We should probably put the tent up. There we go. <laughs> that was easy. Have a drink. Whoa! I don't know if that was water. Unless we're just coincidentally hallucinating. Things have changed. Help! Joel, we came across this abandoned school and couldn't resist taking a look. The gate and door were open, the door locked on us, and the lights have gone out. Come get us out. Joel, help us out, man. What, what are you doing? I don't think we're alone in here. Oh, it's not looking good. Um, oh, what's this? Torch? We could do with a torch. We could search. Got some batteries. That's everything. Nothing found in there. Nothing in there. Right, so we should probably begin our trek down here. See what's happening. So when I first saw this game on Steam, I didn't really know what to think of it. The reviews were overwhelmingly positive, so that's why I bought it. I really wanted to see it for myself. Right, what's going on down here? We've got a map. Mount High Forest. Power plant key code. And then a map of the area. With a question mark. Oh I see. So the map has been cut for some reason. We've lost the, the lower half. We've got two numbers from the key code. But we need the other two. So we really need to look for the other half of this map. I don't have a clue where that's going to be. Going up here. That's interesting. Like the bus looks really old, but the lights are still on. That is spooky. It's Mount High Boarding School. So yeah, we need to. I'm guessing we need to search for the other half of the map. There's a lot of mist in the trees. I think the best thing to do is probably just go up a track and see where it takes us to. Ooh, the wolves are out. Okay. Right, this is hazardous. High voltage. Forget that, we don't have any of it. Um, uh, yeah, so that is obviously where we put the key code in. Uh, but I don't think that would have made it as easy as to bring the other half of the map to the power plant. That just seems too easy. Although, there might be a few different things lying around which we could pick up. Ah, batteries. Anything else? So out here, there must be a location for us to be able to, oh, what's this, for us to be able to pick up the other half of this map, I don't know where it'd be. Right, low bridge. I'm guessing the school bus just went through the bridge. Too heavy for it or something. 
Yeah, I can feel the suspense. If you're playing this in a dark room at night, that's what you want to do. Oh, what's this? Oh, what's been going on in here? It's not looking good. Let's see if we can go in. No, <laughs> door locked. So we'd need a key for that, so we'll be looking for a key and a map. Anything lying around outside? Uh, yes, there is. We've picked up some board or, or other. I don't know what the board is. A back way. Might be able to get in here. Nope. Hmm. So we've got a board. Another board. Right. So uh, I'm guessing then we need a key. We should probably go and look for a key. Continue our journey over here. Another question mark. Ah! Oh, that makes perfect sense. Right, so we've got the boards to go over the bridge. Okay, we're piecing this puzzle together very slowly. So maybe I don't need a key? Oh, I don't even notice he's going to. I'm guessing it's going to the other side of that bridge where the school bus was. I guess, I don't know. Uh, let's just continue down here and see where we get to. Oh, those sound effects, they get to you. If you've got your headphones on loud, that is like, it's right behind you. Right, what's this place? Okay, we've got video monitors. We've got no parking for school buses. Oh, no, no, other way around. No parking, school buses only. But we have got a note. Right, so we regret to inform you that the decision has been made to close the school due to exposure to toxic waste while further investigation is carried out by the Medical Sant Corp. This closure is to be carried out with immediate effect. You may not enter to collect personal belongings, work or any other possessions. Entering this premises is a criminal offence and is a risk to public safety. This is serious. If you have any inquiries or questions, please contact the department. Right, okay. So I don't know if that's helped us out at all or not, but I suppose we know there is an exposure to toxic waste in there. Right. Hmm. Oh, that is the school. That is the school itself. So there was no code on that, I don't think. No. We don't seem to have a code. So I guess we're just going to have to continue looking around for other stuff. Needs power. Yeah, that's, that's what we need though. We need to get to the power station to switch that on. Hmm. Yeah, I, I feel to have come to a dead end here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find the way out. In the darkness. Okay, so maybe if we try and head back to that school bus to the other side of it. Oh, we found the map piece. It was in the rucksack, bizarrely. Why would it be in a rucksack? Got some batteries and nothing else found. Okay, so that is actually not a bad find then. If we've got the map piece, I don't know how you read it. I don't think there's an inventory. We should probably preserve our batteries because we're going to need them later on. Unless it's going to come light, but just somehow, I just can't imagine it coming light in this psychological horror game. And as I've never played this before, I don't know how exactly it's going to work. I don't know if there's like things which can jump out at you, or if that's too predictable. I don't usually play games blind, because I don't know what's coming. But so far, I think we're on the right track. So if we can head back to the power station and see what's happening there, we might be able to progress a bit. If I can remember where it was. Where was it? Over here. Yes, here we go. 
So, uh, oh no, we probably don't want to be there yet because we're going to need to get the code and I'm assuming we need to put it against the other map. So if we go through here, back over to that board, if we stick the map up, we should be able to get a code, I guess, I don't know. I really don't know. We did. Good. So there's our code. 9724. Seems simple enough. And we, we can also see where we are now as well. That Yeah, that makes sense. That's the power station there. That's that like log cabin which has got weird things going on in it. And that is the bridge where the school bus is. And that is the school there. Right, so we need to go and type in the key code of 9724 and see what happens from then onwards. So I'm going to be doing a number of episodes of this game. don't know how long it is. So I'm just going to take it one step at a time. Let's see if we can get this powered up. Nine, seven, two, four. Enter. Well, we're in. High voltage. Uh, but I, this is the one which is off. Is this the one we need to do? Got some keys. Oh, that might be for that log cabin. Pull the levers in the correct order to commence power. We seem to have two levers missing. Yeah, this is a real mystery. So, so as we've got the keys, I think we should probably go back to that cabin. Because there, there was definitely weird things going on in there. Even if what we need isn't in there, it's probably best still to start off there. See if we can pick up any other clues. So the keys have worked, and we're in. Whoa! I just felt like shivers go down my spine then, because I didn't know what was happening. It's all gone to grayscale. That That is like an investigation that's happening here. We've got a lever. We need two. Oh, this is weird. Literally, my hairs on my arms are standing up on end. What was that? So what is all this then? We've got... This is a reporter. Um, right, okay. So yeah, clearly someone who is not happy at all. But that still doesn't really get us anywhere. We need to... Oh, I've got no batteries left now. I wonder if there's any batteries in here. One battery. You know, I don't know if I want to see what's in here. We can't seem to open it, which is probably a good thing. Nothing in the fridge, you'd hope not, looking at that. Uh, up here, nothing. So that still hasn't really got us anywhere. But we have got one lever. If we go and put the one lever in, that might sort of give me some clues of what's happening. Was it a lever? I thought it was. It, it's not accepting it though. So, hmm. This is bizarre. Yep, this is quite tricky. So your stamina does actually deplete. If you run for long enough, sprint for long enough, you will eventually... Oh, I just picked up the lever. Why didn't I see that in the first place? Yeah, you'll eventually um, start to pant. So it's good that it does that, instead of having unlimited stamina. I don't know why I didn't see that before. I'm 
try again. Now we've got two, it should accept it, hopefully. Good. So, what's this, a guessing game or is this some kind of uh, play around thing? That, that one's gone green. What was that? Oh no, we got it wrong. Oh, I see. Although it's not accepting that one now, that's weird. Hmm. So is there some kind of... Uh, uh, some other note to tell us what's happening here? I've got two. It was this one here, then this one here. If you get it wrong, like that, it goes back to the beginning. So we know that one. Do it again. And then this one here. So that's two. It's it's a guessing game. You've got to work up to it. Right, I've got it wrong again. Right, I got three on. I can't get the other two on. Doesn't matter which one you do, it doesn't work. So I, I think I'm missing the plot here. 